Episode 2. The Streak. Speed is distance divided by time. Entering the streak is having the ground removed abruptly. It's to be naked and blind. The drop is sudden, widely considered the most dangerous aspect. Tesh is now experiencing the act of falling at 236 kilometers per hour. The speed of thought varies for individuals. Streakers call this measurement action potential, or AP. Tash clocks in at a peak of 404 kilometers per hour. This puts his AP on the index at level 41. That means this job ain't cheap, nor should it be, considering the risks. Spiraling downwards, Tash has to now gather his balance and program a transmitter ring under his icon before connection overlaps. Most people get cut. Sometimes people get cut bad. Either way, no matter how safe you play it, not all your neurons make it back to your neural net. The impact counters the momentum of his descent. Impossible to compensate for if true physics were applied. Tash manages to hug the electric magnetic sheath just enough to connect onto the axon rail. This mode of transport in the flow network is referred to as grinding the axe. The multicolored horizon engulfs him. Every edge rider in the trims is known to crank the engine for max speed. The tunnel vision feels like a crack in reality. How long can you hold it? If you just push a little more, there's an unknown. The head rush is addictive for those with the nerve. Tesh doesn't feel like he's going as fast as lightning. He is lightning. After a while, perception begins to normalize. No available oxygen, no acoustic vibrations, but Tesh can feel the underpass through transmitter tunnels. Human neurons create an audible stimuli instinctively. There's a rhythm to it. Warping accrues on the axon railways. These hexagonal pockets and peaks usually appear near nodes that intake high volume. You have to be light on the ring. Tesh uses an elevated dead point to space jump onto a massive golden data thread spackled in ochre. Noticing the security cell, he sidewinds his T-ring to mimic the orange modules chaotically orbiting the data thread. An inquiry signal is sent to ping him. If he hits the ping right, dialed into the proper base code at the right angle, the chem shield should ping back all systems go. He deflects the ping, but it makes him think. His data receptor dips over the sheath grazing the thread cloud, sending a multitude of imagery that should elicit responses. The second ping he is not ready for. The cell now traveling parallel to him receives the ping back, an observable ripple on a continuously morphing surface. Solids with hard angles billowing back into unshapely ooze begin to coruscate shades of red as the cell security protocol activates. Tesh acts quickly and programs a flashpoint opposite of the cell wall. The Cade security cell can calculate with near certainty where Tesh's flashpoint will end. However, used with the simple barrel splitter at entry, the action creates a phenomenon known as quantum reflections. Still not fully understood, a streaker can buy a fraction of a nanosecond to send a demobilizing data spike mid-jump. Tesh does this with relative ease. The cell gushes and shrinks into the distance. Without its mobility, its duties are void. It initiates self-repair immediately. Data doesn't lust. It doesn't fear. There's only purpose and directives. Intention. That's the secret. A clear and focused intention, which is easier said if your goal is to remain thoughtless. Be the code. Be the data. He bolts toward the center column. The lifts are just as visible as they are in the reel. It remains the constant pillar up each stack, and the dendrite relay to the lift courier system is where he wants to be. Tesh finds the relay he was manifesting towards. It takes him a few extra moments to find the specific thread to discharge the modified code into. Tesh has enough juice for one more flashpoint. He aims for the trims to wait out the rest of his runtime. The streaker exits without impedance. He awakes to a call pending on HUD. The ID reads, Zed. He reads it twice before realizing he's holding his breath. The job isn't finished. Thank you for listening. Please follow us on Instagram to see our amazing artwork. If you're interested in visual storytelling through music videos, make sure to follow us on all platforms.